Hey guys, Jessica Damu here with a, another Gundam review, and today I'm reviewing Reconquista in G. Recently watched this series, it's only subtitled at this point. It was made by Yoshiyuki Tomino, which the last thing he made was Turn A Gundam. This is supposed to be up there with Turn A Gundam. Uh, I don't think they d declared whether it was before or after. It was pretty cool. There's these uh, elevators to take people up, solar cells. Uh, there's, you know, the country of Ameria or something like that. It's very, very turn A feeling. Hard to say whether it's before or after. It could very well be after. Um, in one of the last episodes, there's a shot of Jaburo, collapsed in Jaburo, with two dead Zagoks. And they look like stone. They've been there so long. Because it tells you, you're in the UC. This is way, 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 way later. There's some things that are really familiar that you're just going to really like. You're going to be like, oh, that's totally like... You know, or, oh, I remember, or, you know, oh, that's like a Zaku, or et cetera, et cetera. There's going to be things, you know, tips to the hat in mobile suit designs, but that are really cool. There's also some really unique mobile suit designs. And uh, just for the record, there is no way I would ever pilot anything called a Recton. No. No. Just say no. There's some funny names in there. Uh, the, the, the main mobile suit is pretty cool. The animation's hand-drawn instead of being all digital. And so there's some really beautiful animation in there. There's a lot of shots of animals. It's, it's kind of a theme. As, as long as you're on Earth, there's just animals everywhere. Uh, kind of being the victims of the destruction. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. However, as beautiful as the animation is, as cool as some of the mobile suits are, as... Um, intriguing as some of those UC things you're familiar with and some of these things that you're totally not familiar with, like water balls that hold like gallons and gallons of water and just kind of, you know, throw water everywhere when they get used. Um, there's some real downsides to this series. Um, so I started watching it. First episode that you watch, you are going to be thoroughly confused. Because for some reason... Every once in a long while, Bandai thinks, you know what? People need to be thrown into the action. So we're just going to make the first episode the second episode. And then, after the first new first episode, they can watch the actual first episode. They did this on Victory Gundam, which was c confusing as could be. I, I just started Victory Gundam, and you're just like, what? What's going on? What? Who is this guy? Who is that? Why do I care? Ah, what's going on? Same kind of thing in Reconquista. So, do yourself a favor. Watch the second episode first. Then watch the first episode. Then watch the rest of the series. This will at least make the beginning make somewhat sense to you. Because the first episode still throws you into the mix. I, they were just being stupid. Stupid. Don't ever do that again, Bandai. You've done it twice. You do it again, I'm going to come over there and slap you. You know, that kind of thing. Stop it. No one likes it when you do that. It ruins the series. I did that with Firefly, too. Uh, which is not anime, but Firefly. Really cool. Look into that. Anyways. If you do that, it makes it a little easier. And you start, as you watch the series, it's, it's kind of hard at first because you're like, I still don't know really what's going on, but I can kind of get the gist of it. I kind of get the gist. And you figure out that there's a couple different countries. They're tenuously, you know, not at war. There's some kind of pope, and there's a lot of taboo that you don't have space battles, and you do not use melee weapons, and you do not use, you know, like weird technological taboos regarding mobile suits and combat and things like that. Basically, everybody's just in this tenuous, almost not at war, possibly at war with each other, three nations, major nations on the Earth. And there's these people in space who bring the space batteries that everybody uses, and maybe everybody should be switching to solar. There's references to that. And there's space pirates, and there's this girl that just lost her memories, and you don't know why... This might sound like a huge, mad ramble, because it is. And the further you get into the series, the more of a mad ramble it is. And so there's some things you see, there's some things you can follow. There's some relationships that grow, and you're just like, hey, that's kind of cool. You see them doing maintenance on ships in a way that's really logical. And you're just like, oh, that's cool. 
And there's this gel layer that goes over mobile suit decks when they're open so that mobile suits can leave but not lose the oxygen. And that's really cool. But plot-wise, it's intriguing. It seems like there's this group of space noids. I'm not sure whether they're from a colony or from the moon or both or not at all. It got really confusing. But they want to come back to Earth, which is all about the Reconquista. They want to come back to Earth. And it reminds me of Turn A that the moon people wanted to come back to the Earth and take it over. And so it sounds like there's some kind of great undercover scheme to come back to the Earth and take it over. And there's been political strings being pulled with the different nations on Earth to keep them divided against each other. And there's, you know, and your, your two main characters end up having some uh, connection uh, family-wise that makes them descendants of something that's supposed to make them special in terms of models or technology or but it's not explained well I spent a lot of my time watching this series just scratching my head and all what the heck's going on who's the bad guy there's this guy from one of the countries who's friends with them and had been an instructor, and he's wearing a mask, and it used to be Kuntala. And Kuntala used to be food in the previous bygone era. We're not told why they used to be food, but, you know, it kind of reminds me of, you know, just, you know, things that have happened in human history where your skin's not white enough or your skin's not black enough, and so we're going to kill you because you're subhuman, you know. And, uh, but things have moved palm past that point, so it's kind of like this kind of racism thing and he's trying to prove himself as Kuntala and all the Kuntala people love him except they don't look any different than anybody else. You're know, like, what makes these people Kuntala? I have no idea. Why is he wearing a mask? I still don't know. I've watched all 25 episodes and I don't understand anything. And maybe, I don't know, I missed it. Maybe one of the episodes that I watched was out of order. But even when I was like, okay, maybe one of these episodes is out of order that I got. I, I kept my eyes open for, okay, I'm going to look for the precursor to this event. You know, like, this, I was suddenly thrown into this event. I'm going to watch from the surrounding episodes, and I've got all 25 episodes, and it's like, I never got explained. I, just, I don't understand. It's like, there's gaps. They just happen. I don't get explained who is doing what and why never really gets explained. And it was frustrating because about halfway through the series, I was really starting to like it. And then it just kind of, it, it turned into a mad ramble. I don't know what's going on in this series. I don't know why it's going on. I don't know who is who and what they're doing or what their ultimate goals are, or even what their intermediate goals are. I don't even know why they're fighting each other. <sighs> Some of the characters were really likable. Some of them, like, Mask, just irked to me. Another shark clone. Yay. Just leave that alone for a while, Bandai. Just stop. Stop. You don't have to copy it every time. I was hopeful... You know, like, everybody complains when a new Gundam series comes out. Oh, this is going to suck, you know. And when I watched the first episode, which was really the second episode, I did kind of think it sucked. But when I came back to it, I started to like it. But because it never ultimately made sense, I have to give it two thumbs down. I wanted to like the series. I like the animation. I like the places it could go. But the way that it told the story, so confusing is not really benefit to anyone. There's some cool stuff. There's some cool, intriguing story elements. Now, ultimately, Bandai canned it, 25 episodes. They said, nope, no season two, you're done. Supposedly, there's going to be a movie to try and wrap it up. I would hope that that answers some questions! I still don't know what the hell's going on in this series. I don't know, maybe you watch the series, and you're like, no, this is what was going on. This and this and this and this and this, and you got it. But for me, and I'm a huge Gundam fan, I, I do not know what was going on here. I don't know who the enemy was or even what our main characters were trying to do anymore. I finished episode 25 and I was like, what the heck? I don't understand anything. It's like one of those movies 
that, you know, it has a really cool premise. You read the back of it, and you're like, in this movie, your main character is fighting against the evil government, and da 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 and you're like, oh, cool, that sounds awesome! You know, and you watch the movie for, like, three hours, and you're just like... Somebody owes me the last three hours of my life back, because none of that made any sense, and if they'd actually done what the premise said, it would have been awesome. And the Reconguista, have you seen it? What did you think? I'd like to know. Man, I wanted to like this series. I started to. Around episode 12 to 17, I was really digging it. And then, Mad Ramble. I don't know. Well, that's my Mad Ramble. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time.